Today we're working on some freeze-dried eggnog. We got these nice little molds. First off, Santa! Second, candy canes! They're not going to be striped, but that's okay. And then we've got Christmas trees. We've got them all placed inside of this pan, just to try and keep everything even and level as we move transport it from here to the freezer, where we're going to freeze this. We're using just a standard Southern Comfort eggnog, ultra pasteurized, non-alcoholic, just good stuff. And we have placed the eggnog into our nice little squeeze container. You may have seen us use something like this previously on our Yogurt Bites video. So very handy, very comfortable. Okay, so here we go. Just filling them up to where they're just cresting at the top. Maybe a little too much on some, maybe a little too little on others. not melt the silicone but use our torch to get rid of some of those bubbles. Throw these in the freezer. Once they're frozen, throw them on a tray and in the freeze dryer. We'll talk to you then. All right, let's harvest some basil from the hydroponics to be able to freeze dry. Always good to have some of this left over. And the basil is really easy because it just simply pinches off. And you get whole sections just like that. Okay. Now you can also use scissors to make it nice and clean. And I'm looking to cut it down quite significantly because we're going to use most of this in our freeze dryer. And when I cut it lower, it'll actually sprout others next to those nodes. So very, very nice. Cut it down so it stays shorter in my hydroponics. All right, now most of that should come right back pretty quick and be sprouting between the spots that are already there. But look at those massive leaves for the basil. Mm-mm, good. Had a couple of leaves fall off while I was doing that. We'll grab those and throw those in as well. And that's as easy as it is to be able to pull off some basil and grab a couple of large leaves. And that right there is how much basil we pulled off of there. <laughs> we'll throw that in the freeze dryer. Some other herbs that we're going to get are some thyme, just like the other herbs, you want to be able to have it have enough root uh, stem section that the stem will still be able to sprout additionals and grow more. It thickens it up even. So there we go. Cut off a section, just like that. So I'm going to throw that in the freeze dryer and powder it. Tell you what, if, if you don't put time on your steaks, you're going to want to do so. All right, two. And our last one here. A 
And there's the time. Not going to be a full tray by any means, but I'm trying to thicken these up so that when they do grow, they don't get all the way up and have tiny amounts of time on it. So these will all thicken up, but this will give me more to use for my steaks right now. Good times. All right, so what do we have here? We have basil, freeze-dried herbs. If you haven't tried it, you really need to do it. The flavor that comes off of it is so close to fresh. It is shocking. So freeze-dried basil, we're gonna throw that in, see how it does. We haven't tried this one yet. I'm hopeful. I just had a whole bunch of it left right now, so we're gonna do that. Freeze-dried thyme. I go ahead and leave a lot of it on the stalk itself, and I use the young sections. So when you're pulling it off and you get that section that pops right off, then you can chop that right up. It has lots of flavor in it. I'm going to grind all of this down anyway, so make it into a powder. That's going to work well. Then we have our eggnog molds. Had a little bit extra here. We threw it right there. Some candy canes, Santa Claus, Christmas trees, some gingerbread men. It's going to be some fun stuff. And then you can't have the holidays without some milk duds. All of this is going to go into a standard freeze dry mode. There's no candy mode. There's no preheating. These get too weird if you preheat them with the candy mode. Uh, all of this should be fine. These ones are going to take the longest, probably about 40 hours for these, but I'm going to run it anyway. I thought I'd just throw it all in there anyway. These will be done first. These will be done second, third, and that'll be done later. We'll just let it run the whole time. All right, let's get it in the freeze dryer. All right, so here is our fail in the freeze dryer. Some fun stuff. First of all, if some things didn't fail. What happened was the vacuum pump had an error and I had to actually take it out and do some maintenance on it, which meant the freeze dryer kind of stopped. Uh, some issues that we ran into, we'll get into and what some of all this looks like. But first off, we have the freeze dried basil. You can see it's just a nice little fully desiccated leaf. Turned out perfect no ill effects on the basil and oh it smells so good it smells just like fresh basil uh, thinking in terms of using your dried herbs instead of dried freeze drying them the flavor is just like the everything else you freeze dry in the high 90 percent of flavor retention for what you're going to be able to use it from the fresh so definitely recommend herbs Here's the thyme. You can see the thyme. The leaves are on there. The leaves are going to be very small quantities. We'll be pulling the leaves off. We can use those leaves to be part of what we're going to grind up and use. Mostly I was concerned about this one because that's what we're doing for our Christmas dinner is uh, some meat with the needed a little bit more freeze dried thyme. Got lots more growing, but we're going to be able to get lots over time. Needed some now. Now we have the eggnog, and the eggnog was a hard fail. Couple of things, the, even though we pre-froze the eggnog, the eggnog here fully melted when the vacuum pump error happened because it stopped freezing. It was already in the mode of heat, so as soon as it stopped the vacuum, the vacuum lost and everything came back into pressure. The heat already in there, it melted into a pile of goo. That's eggnog goo. Don't know exactly what that's going to be like. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to clean some of that up, but you can see it's still there. Just not exactly what I'm going to eat on that piece. Now these other ones though, definitely retained enough of their shape to be able to, to not melt. They were frozen. They were thicker. So some like this, 
absolute fails because they melted really bad. Hey, look, from here, it's your gingerbreads. From here, it's an angel. Yay. Oh, uh, anyway, with that in mind, we can try some of these, see how it looks and how they taste. Uh, these are horrible. The candy canes turned out terrible. This one's maybe passable. The Santa Clauses. That might be the best Santa Claus that we have right there. And I have to admit, I am a little hesitant to even taste one. <laughs> Just because of the fail and everything there. But I'm going to do it because I am dying of curiosity to know. So I'm going to grab one that melted a little bit less than some of the others. There we go. We got a Christmas tree. Here's a really good Christmas tree. Didn't melt at all, really. They're very, very light and fluffy. Very, very crunchy. Just crunches right apart. And let's see how that is in comparison to eggnog. Hmm. Yeah, tastes like eggnog. Nice as a candy, eggnog is oftentimes really, really thick, and uh, you only really want a swallow or two of it before it's too much, in my opinion. But no, this is good. It's a nice little treat, nice little snack, almost like a, a cookie. Tastes like a, a light, fluffy cookie that is eggnog flavored. So, definitely fun. We'll definitely try that again. You'll notice that we also had milk duds in the freeze dryer when it went down. They hadn't puffed at all, didn't do anything, and we do a lot of the milk duds. Those are just a filler for when we're doing everything. So we just took those right out and didn't even put them back in. But we got the freeze dryer working. We got the maintenance uh, schedule updated so that we can make sure that doesn't happen to us again. And uh, it's just nice to have YouTube videos out there in the world to be able to help guide us along those kinds of processes. When something goes wrong, we can fix it ourselves. So... Hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. Hopefully this was an interesting thing to see how some of this was. And also, hopefully you understand that uh, we all have failures and it's just keep going. We're going to have some fun. Like and subscribe. We'll get you some more content. Take care. Bye. Make sure you like and subscribe.